now. Obviously, that air quality is an issue, but lots of weird stuff today. It was a very weird weather day for us. Yeah, I'm calling this our triple H day, maybe H cubed. <laughs> you can see. Yeah, that works. Math you checks out. <laughs> Humid, hazy, hot. That's what we're talking about. Or there's our triple H's. I just made that up. I'm sorry. That was really cheesy. But yeah, let's talk about our humidity first. You can see we have this system moving over us right now. You may have seen some rain today. We did here downtown. I was pretty excited about that. And we're watching this rain continue to move through tomorrow. You can see tomorrow afternoon right or evening rather right around 530. It's right over us and then through the rest of tomorrow evening. This cloud coverage does continue. Um, I'm thinking since it'll be pretty warm, it will evaporate before it hits us, but we still have the chance of seeing some showers tomorrow. Most of Kern County has that chance. I want to see what you see. If you see any rain, share it with me. Leah Pizzetti 23 ABC on Facebook, Leah Pizzetti on Twitter and Instagram. Um, show me what you're seeing here in Kern County. So that's that humidity. That's why it was nice and muggy today. Now let's talk about the haze. I don't know about you, but I saw the haze and when I was driving. You look ahead in the street and you just really can't see anything. It was very hazy today. We do have bad air quality. We're talking about these fires. These fires are hindering our air quality. However, tomorrow our air quality is better than what we saw today. Today we were unhealthy for everyone. Tomorrow unhealthy for sensitive groups actually on the lower side of that. So closer to that moderate range. So our air quality is going to be a lot better tomorrow than it was today. So we can be thankful for that. However, we do still have an air quality warning in effect for areas in the valley until Monday. So this air quality effect is um, an air quality warning is in effect until Monday. So there's that haze. Now let's talk about heat. I don't know if you noticed, but today was pretty hot. Tomorrow we are cooling down. However, it's still going to be nice and hot right in that 105 106 range for most of the valley um, with about 20% chance of rain. We're in these 80s up our mountains 88 into Hatchby 83 Fraser Park 90 Pine Mountain Club. Lake Isabel is looking at 98 degrees with a 30% chance of showers through these mountain communities. Our desert communities cooling off just a tiny bit in those 90s. Ridgecrest is the only area looking at triple digits once again triple or we're looking at rain chances we're also looking at wind in our desert communities I want to break down your day for tomorrow right now we're feeling 96 degrees what we'll be feeling maybe right around 9 10 a.m. you can see we heat up very quickly by 11 a.m. we're already in those triple digits we peak at 105 106 already getting up to that almost that peak by 1 p.m. hanging out there so these rain chances really start around 11 a.m. that's when this cloud um, move in for the most part so once again, we're looking at hazy, hot and humid Sunday and Monday, mostly as these rain chances start. Clouds stick around for a little bit and take a look at this. Our temperatures drop. This is my favorite. This is a roller coaster. Look at this. We go from 106 with storm chances to 89 degrees by the end of the week. So we do have a massive cool down back to temperatures below our average of 93 degrees. So we just have to get through a couple days and then we can get to those below average temperatures. Kerner River Valley is looking at 98 degrees for tomorrow with those storm chances. Um, breeze is picking up on Monday, dropping on down to those 80s, mid 80s by Saturday. To hatch would be a similar situation. 88 degrees dropping on down a good 10 degrees to 78 degrees by the end of the week. Fraser Park 83 degrees for tomorrow and then into those 70s for the end of the week. So just got to get through the next couple through. days. I'm sorry. It's really inconvenient for Labor Day. It is, but you brought us good news. I saw low of 60s in Bakersfield. I haven't seen 60s in what feels like forever. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, it's going to be so nice by the end of the week. Just push through. That's yes. what we're saying. All right. Thanks, Leah. Okay.